Hayward is on leave over allegations he was teaching anti-Semitic material. Students, parents, and staffers all upset because they say it took the district months to listen to their complaints. KTVU's Christina Rendon live tonight in the newsroom with more on the story. Christina. Well, Mike, I spoke with two students, one who is in the actual class of that teacher who says that they were given pamphlets that was not part of their assigned curriculum, and at one point, the teacher allegedly saluted Hitler. Truly a brainwashing monopoly. Mildred Vasquez reads part of an excerpt from a book called The Hidden Tyranny. She and her friend, Rushita Verma, say the text was assigned to sophomores at Mount Eden High School in Hayward. The author, Benjamin Friedman, a known Holocaust denier, talks about how Jewish people are planning to take over the world. It says that they are controlling the media and that they're responsible for the United States getting involved in World War II. It just sounds so um, out of touch. The girls say teacher Henry Benz asked students to read the text and make annotations. He said, like, what if I came up, came to school, you know, and I did the Hill Hitler salute, and he proceeded to actually do it, and that was, everyone gasped. We're told complaints were made to administration and the Anti-Defamation League in December. This text is one of the most virulently anti-Semitic texts in existence, and to us it really seemed like this teacher was giving a master class in anti-Semitism to students at Mount Eden High School. Even here in the Bay Area, we are not immune to this rise in anti-Semitic behavior. The students estimate roughly 80 to 100 students were given the lesson and complaints continued in January. They say it wasn't until a school board meeting last week that Benz was placed on administrative leave. The girls are upset it took two months for the district to take action. At the board meeting, we spoke up and we weren't really given clear action plans of what they're going to do. A spokesperson for Hayward Unified says the district does not condone or tolerate any type of hateful or biased rhetoric. Part of a statement reads, quote, hatred and discrimination in any form has never been welcome in our district. This teacher tells us students have had different experiences. She welcomes change. I hope that they do better. I hope that they recognize that our children are suffering, that our kids are supposed to have a safe place to be that we're supposed to teach them that hate is wrong. And the Anti-Defamation League says they have offered resources and training to the district and sent a letter to the board as well. They say an initial meeting in January went nowhere, but today the district did reach out to ADL to continue talks on the issue. Mike. All right, Christina Rendon live tonight in the newsroom. Christina, thank you.